Hey everybody, welcome back to my Eurovision React Review channel. So I'm gonna do things in a slightly different order today. So I'm fully aware that there are so many songs out. So I know there's Latvia, I know there's Luxembourg, I know Finland's starting releasing, I know Ireland's releasing. But for the first time in 2024, I kind of wanna feel like I'm on the right path. So today, happy Vid Beer Day, by the way. So today we've got the 11 songs that are competing in Vidbeer to represent Ukraine. So I didn't also keep in touch with or tabs with the kind of wildcard competition. So equally, I don't know the song that won that either. I'm literally going into this green. Um, I promise you I am going to be reacting and looking at all of the national finals. But I'm shaking up the order slightly because, like I said, just for once, I'd like to feel like... <laughs> I'm at the front of the pack with other people on YouTube in regards to kind of reacting and responding to these songs. So let's have a look. So there are 11 songs in total, right? So let's check out all 11 songs. I have my trusty pad. I have my pen to give my arbitrary score out of 10 for each one to kind of work out my top five. I say top five. Okay, song one. Now, this is obviously two powerhouses coming together, right? I'm familiar with both names. Familiar with Jerry Hale from last year, but I'm also very familiar with this name. This name keeps propping up on Wee Wee Vlogs. So, let's see what we got. This is a lot of potential. This is a very strong start. This is very good. This isn't the sort of sound that I normally would necessarily jibe with, but it's giving me enough to kind of make me want to listen more. So I'm assuming, because I'm not familiar with Aliona's music, I'm assuming this is Aliona rapping, right? Aliona is a rapper, I believe. Really like this chorus. But more specifically, I really like the production on this song. And I'm loving the kind of, I wouldn't say gospel choir, but the choir production in the background. That is a super, super, super strong start. Ah. Um, okay, I'm gonna give that. Do I go in high? I'll go in as a conservative 8.6. Okay. Anchor. Yeah, now as anyone who's a follower and subscriber of my channel, and I think most people agree, I'm a huge fan of kind of a cultural traditional flair that comes through songs that are representative of the countries that are sending them. So I heard it in song one, and obviously I'm hearing it in abundance with song two, which I'm digging. Um, I've just realized this is two minutes and 18 seconds. I'm normally quite somewhat critical of songs less than two minutes and 30. I'm thinking of songs that have sounded similar in the past in Vidbir, particularly last year. What was that song? Oh, it escapes me now. There was a song in Vidbir last year that was within the same vein of this song, which I will already say I preferred. I had to stop the song because it was bugging me. Flinker, Flinker last year. Similar vein, I much preferred Flinker last year. I can kind of see why this song is less than 2 minutes and 30. I say that because the song has decent elements, but ultimately I feel if it goes over 2 minutes 30, it will get in the realms of super repetitive. 
Like, you get the gist of this song after a minute and 20, right? That's when I chimed in and said I preferred Flinker last year. Yeah. I mean, I'll give it a seven. I'll credit it for its cultural flair. Right, okay. So we got Drevo. Drevo? Endless Chain. Well, I wasn't expecting that voice looking at uh, the image in front of me. Um, it should be no surprise to anyone that this sort of sound isn't normally my go-to. But I'm trying to judge it on its genre, comparing it to other songs that I can think of. I mean, it's fine. I can't say at this point that I definitely will be listening to this again tomorrow. <laughs> I do like this little kind of chanty bit. It's actually not bad. Even for someone who may, like me whose uh, ears aren't trained for this sort of sound. Mm. Whoa. Whoa, in the strain. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you know what I'd go as far as to say? By the end of that, I started to come around to the song. In fact, it's not over quite yet. Okay, I'm going to actually say that I actually preferred that dagger. So I gave that a 7. I'm going to give that one a 7.2. Okay, Ingrid. Right. Where's it gonna go now? The one thing I do love about Vidbeer, whilst I wouldn't necessarily say that I download all the songs, I do sit here and appreciate production and I'm thinking the last couple of years there'll always be a couple of songs that for my ear sound experimental and what I mean by that is experimenting with the production giving us something that's not generic giving us something that is not manufactured and as a result it doesn't actually make you sit up and think oh okay wasn't expecting that kind of beat in there um again I'm worried I've started strong <laughs> Already, I'm kind of assuming this isn't going to be my number one over the song one. Ali, Alonya, Alonya and Jerry. Yeah, there's not enough in this song to get me gripped. I mean, I like her voice. I'm trying to get the gist of what the song's about. Favorite part of this song. <laughs> it's alright. Again, this song picks up. It's taken a while to get there for me personally. Okay. We are I think that's my second favourite. I'm going to give that one a 7.8. A 7.8. That song picked up at the end. Right, here we go. Melavine. Melavine is back. I actually did see Melavine live. It was not last summer. It was the summer before in Warsaw. Poland had a Eurovision party post the Eurovision and lots of previous acts came. So I have seen Melavine. A very good performer, I must admit. Uh, 
Okay, I was a bit worried then. I didn't know whether he was going to be sending this artsy, experimental, spoken word, if you will, song. But the beat's kicked in now, which is, um, yeah, made me happy. Quite like this so far. This couldn't be further sound wise from the song that he represented Ukraine with prior. I like this one. I had my reservations to what extent I would like this song, obviously based on his previous effort at Eurovision, which I didn't completely gel with. Yeah, this is not even close to that sound, right? It's a completely different direction. Um, I kind of like it. Yeah, I like this one. <laughs> okay, Melavine, like, so what? I gave Alonia and Jerry 8.6. Okay, I'm just gonna just play it somewhat safe and give that an 8.5 temporarily. Okay. Nahaba? Hmm. <laughs> Can I just say at this moment in time, a lot of people have commented recently about kind of MGP and Dora kind of falling into the kind of category of Melody Festivalen, i.e. pop commercial music sounds. Yeah, Vidbeer's not doing that. <laughs> that unashamedly, it's not fallen into that, I wouldn't say trap because it's the sort of music I like, but had not fallen into that hole, still a negative term. They really do their own thing in Vidbeer. And I do really respect that. Yes, this isn't the sort of music that I would na naturally now put on a playlist, but like, I love it, I'm lapping it up. But I must admit, I have to respect Vidbeer for not doing what other countries are doing and just giving us this kind of pop, manufactured pop, commercial pop contest. Um, there's not enough on this song for me personally to latch onto and enjoy the ride. I also, this part here with the kind of electronic assistance on the voice to make it sound higher than it is. Also, not a huge fan. It's probably my least favorite so far. Yeah, I preferred Anchor to this. But it's certainly ending with energy. See, I thought this is what the song was going to sound like, looking at the aesthetics of them. They're taking the whole three minutes. <laughs> mm, yeah, not a fan. Uh, 6.5? Yeah, that's my least favourite so far. Right, Nazva. <laughs> huh? 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great English words. <laughs> well, this is the first one that's kept a smile on my face continuously. I really don't know what to make of this. Okay. Yeah, you managed to get over the two minute 30. To be honest, you don't need to go any further. We got it. Um, oh, how do you judge that? I think I preferred the rock song, which was song three, right? Which was 7.2. Uh, I'm going to give that one a 7.1. Imagine you gave Anchor seven. Are you saying it's better than Anchor? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, is it Skylar? I like their name, Skylar. It's a nice name. That's what her name is. This has the makings of a song that I'm gonna like. And then it drops. Of course Vidby is not giving me just a, a power ballad. Of course I've got to shake it up. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Tell me why I'm crazy. Um, his lyrics are interesting. But I'm starting to get into this song now. Like I said in previous songs, there wasn't much to kind of grab hold on. But I've joined this train now. It's got nothing. It's got nothing to do with the fact that it's got a beat. I'm quite enjoying the melody, the multiple melodies in the verse and the chorus. Like I said, some of these lyrics. I like this one. I see potential in this song. And the one thing you know about Ukraine, irrespective of who's winning, the staging's gonna be amazing. So I'm thinking about songs that would complement creative staging. And this song has it. I'm gonna give that one eight. That's my third favorite so far, with eight songs down. Right, Yagadi. Yagadi? I'm intrigued. Mm. I mean, I'm sure I'm not the only person that have come out and said this, and this is my kind of down to my limited exposure to this sort of sound. Um, Harmonia Dissonance Dora 2023. Um, similar vibe in regards to this kind of communal vocal. I already prefer that one to this one. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... No, I respect this sound. But like I said, if I'm gonna try and compare it to anything I know, Harmonia Dissonance, Croatia, Dora last year, I preferred that to this. And maybe with like staging to amplify it, it could come through a little bit. Has energy in abundance. But yeah, it's not really my thing. Um, I don't know if this is controversial. I preferred the... English is my power song, which <laughs> I gave 7.1. 
and I gave Anchor 7, and that was all right. I'm going to give that one a 6.9. It's not a really a sound that I jive with, and like I said, with similar sounds I can compare it to, there's other songs that I think are better, um, and as a result, I'm comparing that to that one, those ones. So, yeah, 6.9. Right, Yak Tack. Yak Tack. Okay. To no one's surprise, this is kind of more vi my vibe. I'm enjoying the production on this one. This one's a catchy little number. This one is energetic, upbeat. It's making me bop involuntarily. Yeah, I like this one. Dance. I like this one. Okay. Um, I don't... I'm just trying to think. Melavine's 8.5. I'm going to give that one an 8.3. That's a solid third place for me. So, again, I started high. I really, 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 really liked Alonya, Alonya and Jerry. So, we've got one more song. So, my top three at the moment. Alonya and Jerry... 8.6, Melavine 8.5, and Yaktak 8.3. Okay, Zifferblatt. Can't stop looking at his shirt. I want that shirt. Hmm. I think Alonya and Jerry are safe. <laughs> I think Melavine's safe. Yeah, I'm not a massive fan of this one. Um. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah, this isn't my my jam. It might be my least favourite, actually. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this one. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Done? Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna put that as a 6.4. I think that was my least favorite. So in fifth place, I've got Ingrid with 7.8. In fourth place, I've got Skylar with eight. With In third place, I have Yaktak with 8.3. In second place, I have Melavine with 8.5. And in first place, I have Alonya and Jerry. I, my gut feeling, out of all of those songs that I've heard, I'm pretty safe and solid with my top two in regards to what I think would be good choices for Ukraine. But I really, really think Alonya, Alonya and Jerry is a good fit. And I'm sure they've got mass public appeal. They're both big names, right, commercially. Um, I would say inside Ukraine, but outside of Ukraine as well, I believe. Um, so, yeah. I really like that song. So those are my thoughts. Please let me know what you think. What's your thoughts of the 
field of vid beer songs in general in comparison to previous years. I'm quite curious to hear that one. And yeah, what's your kind of top three or your, your favorite? Please let me know in the comments below. And if you're still here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do click the notification button so you're informed if and when I post videos. And yeah, until next time, stay safe.